Corel have just announced a new version of their popular video editing application, Video Studio Pro X5, which can now be downloaded from the Corel website, and the box set version will ship from the end of March 2012. This new version includes many enhancements and filters to speed up and simplify video editing. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be a lot of difference between the Pro X5 version and its predecessor, the Pro X4. However, the real power of Video Studio Pro X5 is under the bonnet, but not hidden. The familiar layout has the advantage of allowing users to switch seamlessly to this new version without having to rediscover where tools and other frequently used features are located. So let's take a look and see what's new. One of the new features that I really like with this version is the customizable interface. We can just grab any one of the components and place it wherever we want it to be. And they can be floating or by double clicking it we can place it back again and likewise any of the other views there. Also if you have a second monitor you can drag your clip out. You can resize it if you want to from here and then just drag it over to your second monitor and here we can go to full screen mode on there. And of course any other clips that we happen to select will be instantly playable in the new monitor. And to restore the interface back again we just double click on the title bar and we've got our interface back again. Of course customizing your display to the way you prefer to have it is very convenient but you don't want to have to do this every time you launch your application. Well Corel have got a very handy feature is that you can actually save your settings so let's drag out this window here and we'll dock it to the right hand side. You see these blue arrows at the top here and one to the right. We can actually just click on that and now I've docked this particular window to the right hand side. I can do that with any, any of the windows here. We can do it with the timeline or the library window and when we go into settings we go to layout settings and we can save this layout to one of three different customizable interfaces. And then when we relaunch the program we can select our custom one, custom two or we can go back to the default settings. It's a really handy feature for those who like to rearrange the screen layout. As with previous versions of Video Studio, Corel have bundled lots of extra goodies for you and we've got some nice new templates here which are ready-made packages. All you have to do is add your own photographs and captions and you can start at the beginning here, you have middle sections, end sections or complete project sections or you can define your own custom ones. There's also lots of transitions and you can select your favorites or just look at them all. There's hundreds of them literally and we've got lots of text effects so we can add all sorts of different animated text effects and we've also got graphics that we can overlay, different colors, objects or frames to your video files. And also on the special effects here there are some new ones here and one of the most exciting ones comes from ProDad and this is the Mercalli and this is an image stabilizer and I will cover this in a future tutorial but just to show you the effect of it. So if we have a look at this preview window on the left hand side in this area here we've got the untreated footage on the right hand side is the stabilized footage and we just play that briefly and you can see the arches jumping around all over the place. That's a great filter to use and I will go into this in greater detail in a future tutorial. Another new feature is that we can bring in PaintShop Photo Pro images that have layers. Now on this one I've actually got two layers, one the helicopter which is a clip art and the background layer. And we'll bring this into Video Studio Pro and when we do bring this in, each of the layers will occupy a video track of its own. So we can have up to 20 layers, which will give us 20 video tracks. And this means that we can actually animate some of the tracks. And here we've got a helicopter that I've actually animated. So that goes in from the top left and it flies out to the right. Of course, when working with high definition footage, you're going to make heavy demands on your computer's processing power. 
Corel have fine-tuned Video Studio to make full use of the currently available multi-core processors from Intel and AMD, producing a dramatic speed performance. In this example, I have five tracks of 1080p full high-definition footage playing back in real time. Video Studio X5 runs nearly 10 times faster than Video Studio X4. And this also means render times are going to be much faster, especially with 64-bit systems. Another handy new feature with Video Studio is the ability to capture screenshot movies. And we can do that simply by going into the Capture menu and selecting Screen Capture. And now we just press the record button and we can record exactly what's happening on the screen. So if you want to do some tutorials for YouTube placement then this is the ideal application to use. And you can even choose what sort of dimensions you want to use whether it's just a portion of your screen or the whole screen as we've got it here. Now this new version of Corel Video Studio includes many new features including some exciting new filters. And if you need some further help then you can always click on the, the new Corel guide and here you'll find some useful tutorials or if you want some more content just, just click on the do more and you can download loads more templates. Now we'll be going through the various aspects of the Corel Video Studio over the next few weeks and we'll do more dedicated tutorials on the various aspects including the new HTML5 output. But for the time being, it's a very good application. You can download it free of charge on a 30-day trial run from the Corel website. And it's well worth a look.